Dan Henderson back on the program here at MMA Odds Breaker. Still in Florida, even though his uh, Machida fight got canceled to him using DHEA, which has been on which has been on the USDA ban list for Olympics forever. But all of a sudden, I guess, I mean, WADA or USADA or whatever became illegal in January for out of competition. Is that right? Or do you not know? Uh, I have no idea. All I know is it was pretty fishy, and, and I'm sure it's not the first time he's taken something he shouldn't have. Oh, of course not. I mean, if you're if you don't change your habit, you know, and I was, oh, this is something new to my camp. You know, this is something he's been doing for a while. So when Masashi came out, you know, a while ago and said he thought Machida was using something, everyone kind of scoffed at Masashi. Now all of a sudden he looks like he's dialed right in. Yeah, I think uh, I've heard that, you know, for a while that, you know, and even a couple of weeks ago, uh, I was told that I was, that would be surprised if Machida passed the drug test. And I'm like, well, we'll see. You know, I was thinking after the fight, drug test, not a pre-fight to where the fight got canceled. And, and you know, had we known about him to get, get an opponent, you know, now I'm training for another two months and not getting paid for this training camp. All right. So that was my question. The UFC didn't make you whole. There's no, there's no show up bonus. There's no money involved at all. So you got, so this whole training camp, the last two months is a complete loss. Pretty much. I mean, yeah, they're not paying me any fight money at all. So I don't get paid unless I fight. So usually when a fight gets canceled, they at least will give the guy that had no fault their show up money. At least give you half the money so you can get at least get a little bit of cash out of it. And they give you nothing and just move you to a, to a different fight card? Yeah, basically. I mean, Dana offered me a little bit of money to cover my training camp expenses, but, you know, it doesn't. It doesn't do much, especially, you know, right at tax time, I was counting on this money. So now I got to figure other things out. Yeah, I know. Like the, this is the fight is supposed to be the day after tax day. A lot of us were waiting on that money to go in and Monday morning, be able to take that check, put it in the, in the account and write our check to the IRS to pay off our back tax debt. You now are, it, that basically screws you. Like the, your, fir, your first two quarters are basically your backlog now, trying to make up, trying to catch up from this, from this last of this fight. So, yeah, it, it put me in that spot, and, and uh, unfortunately, yeah, I don't get my show-up money. Oh, that sucks. So did they announce your next fight yet? Has it been officially put, announced? Yeah, I just read it online that they announced it. Um, it's in, it, it's going to be against Hector Lombard uh, June 4th in L.A. So, Which is good for you. It's It's closer. I'm sure a lot of people flew in from California for this fight. Now they don't have to fly in. They can just drive in to L.A. to the forum for this one. I had literally about 50 people flying from California out to Tampa. Most of them are still coming because they already paid for everything. Um, so it's just kind of shitty all the way around. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping maybe the UFC will at least uh, help them out with tickets to my next fight since they bought them for this one and I'm the reason why they came. So that would be nice if they would, <clears throat> if the UFC would come out of pocket for the LA card. You know, you got 50 people coming in, just give you 50 comp tickets, unless you dish them out to whoever needs to. But you know, who knows? The UFC sometimes they do right, sometimes they don't. It just kind of depends on on who you're talking to. So we just you got to kind of wait and see on that one. Depends on the right t- the right time of the month. Yeah, right. Um, we got to talk about Lombard though. You. you didn't Lombard fail a test a while back as well? He did, uh, you know, but he just fought. He just fought uh, about a month ago against Neil Magny. Yeah, and 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 passes and passes test, you know, and all that. So like, he's good to go. But still, don't you kind of worry now? Like Machida, guy who's never failed, everyone thought was pretty stand up, fails a test the week of. You finally get the notice the week of the fight. That fight's canceled, and you get ready, and you sign to fight another guy that's already failed once before. And doesn't don't that don't guys that fail once usually fail again at some point? Yeah, I mean, I might have to put in there that I'm getting paid at least my show up money, no matter what. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, you should put yeah. in there. You should put in there. You can get everything. If he if he fails, you should get everything. That you know your opponent's going to fail at the test before the fight. That's crazy. That is such a it's such a nightmare. 
And it's it's great because they're catching guys that are cheating, but it's unfortunate because guys like you that are stuck without a fight, you know, and you've done all the hard work to get here, and now you can't you get no reward from it. Right. So what are you going to do while you're in Tampa? Then you obviously you're on the fight. You don't have to worry about cutting weight. You don't have to worry about training. You don't have to worry about keeping your rhythm up. It's, you have two months now to get ready for your next fight. I'll watch the fights. I'm just like a fan. I got all my kids are flying in today and. So they're still going to come out, and, and we're going to go watch the fights. And then, uh, you know, when I get back home, I'll start training again. Jeez. Is a week off long enough? I mean, you are, I mean it's not like you're, you're, you're not 31 anymore. Is a week off long enough to get ready for another hard training camp? It'll have to be. You know, I can't, you know, that, that fight, it'll, it, it's not too far away either. So It's coming up quick. I mean, it's, it's actually less than two months, really. I mean, it's J- June 4th, and we're already at. April 14th, right? Right now, today's date. Uh, yeah, 14th. So, I mean, you're looking at less than two months right now. Oh. Yeah, jeez. An extra six weeks of hard training camp. Yeah. Gosh, so. In shape. So, it won't be hard to get to get in fight-ready shape because you're already in shape. You've already got your timing and rhythm down, so you should be okay. A totally different opponent. A guy goes forward instead of backwards. Right, right. And doesn't, you know, not as tall, short and squatty. So, you know, I tend to, I tend to like guys that come forward anyway. So it'll be good. Uh, you know, it'll be more exciting. That's for sure. All right, Dan, last thing before we let you out of here, um, take us through the process of how did they, how did they let you know? Did you hear, I mean, you heard the rumor that you might not pass the drug test, but how did they actually officially let you know, Hey, look, you failed and the fight's off. Uh, well, Dana called me uh, as I was getting ready to do my pre-fight video interview stuff. Uh, you know, and said that it's a possibility. We're not sure. You good with Hector Lombard June twenty-second? If if we, or June fourth, if, if we can't get you know things worked out, Machida and, and uh, or figured out, and I said. I was just in shock, and, and you know, I said, "Yeah, but you need, you need a plane to fly here. I got fifty people coming, and I got, you know, I've got, I got to get paid, you know, and uh, you know, it's, it just, you know, so I had to do the whole interview knowing that it probably wasn't going to happen. That sucks. So I saw. <laughs> I saw earlier uh, that you put out you, you have no respect for uh, for Machida um, because he, he failed his drug test. Is that is that real or are you just or is that an editor changing changing your words up and selling that? Or you really think he's a POS? Anytime somebody fails a drug test, I lose almost all respect for him. You know, and in this case, it cost me a lot of money. And he didn't have the respect to, to say something ahead of time or not not take what he's not supposed to do, you know. And, and to me, and not what it sounds like to most other fans, but to me, it sounds like he just threw out a lame excuse to try and cover up what he really does do. So I just have no respect for that. Yeah, especially coming from the background you come from, amateur wrestling. I mean, we've been getting tested since we were in our late teens. It's just how it works. And then once you make the world team, you're stuck. Tom, it was mostly made from what he gives everybody else. Not me not respecting him, but he didn't respect anybody by doing that. He didn't respect the fans, the sport, me as his opponent, or anybody, you know, by failing a drug test. So, you know, that that was more about that. And, and it brings back into question again, too, because we know that Silva and, and Machida trained together. Anderson Silva failed a little bit ago, you know, with the, whatever, the liquid Cialis or whatever the hell he was taking. And so now it brings into question the whole Black House team. Like, now the two main stars of the team are have been caught. Now what happens? Well, I think he might be the fourth guy from Black House that's been caught and, you know, that's what uh, one of my guys, instead of calling it a black house, is calling it a dirty house. I mean, it's it's questionable now. I mean, you have no choice. It may, it may not. It's just 
maybe that environment just goes to Black House. It's not necessarily Black House's issue, but when you've got your major stars getting caught, and these are the guys that are associated with Black House. Yeah, Anderson Silva has his own gym down the street. He, he barely trains at Black House anymore, but he's still associated with the team. And he gets popped. Then Machida gets popped, who still trains at, at, at Black House. Becomes bad. If this, if this kind of thing happened, one guy walks into Team Quest, and he gets popped at Team Quest at your place, what happens? Well, obviously, that, that's, not, that's something that we've never had an issue with, other than maybe uh, a couple of guys... Uh, you know, with marijuana, but I still have a talk with them about that and say it can't happen. You got to, you know, cut that out. You give, uh, you give your athletes, your, your students, your, your other, uh, other fighters on your team, you give them that one, the one grace to let them back in or is it automatic? You guys are out of the gym. I can't have you around. Yeah. You know, with, uh, performance enhancing stuff with any of my guys. So, you know, I probably would give them, give them, uh, you know, the one one time, it all depends on what it is and, and how bad it was, you know. Um, like if the, if the guy's a problem in the gym, you're not going to keep him around. If he's, you know, a good guy and, you know, and you like him, then, of course, you can give him that extra, that extra benefit. So, right. Dan, this is a bad situation all around. I feel for you, man, because I know that it's the time of year. We got to have it. You needed this fight. You were ready for this fight. I know you trained your ass off for this fight and then have to wait six more weeks. It's just, man, it's just like that's just – the biggest letdown ever. Like it, 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 it hurts my heart having to realize that you're sitting there and can't do anything about it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't know how many beers it'll take to not be pissed off, but I'm going to, I'll let you know. <laughs> See, I like how you work. You're always looking for the end. Good job. All right, Dan, thanks so much for coming on here, man. Try and enjoy. Uh, now you have the time off. Enjoy your family, you know, enjoy the kids that are coming in. Um, try to relax a little bit and, and, uh, and have fun getting back in that training camp. We'll see you June 4th. 